Hi everyone, I'm Kuralis and welcome back to episode 10 of our City Skylines 2 playthrough. So just sit back, relax and enjoy. As always, if you do enjoy this, hit the like button and leave some feedback in the comment section. I would really appreciate it. So thank you, thank you and thank you very much. And look at this zombie apocalypse. Oh my goodness, what is happening over here? So it's been almost like a week since the last episode, and I'm truly sorry about that. The whole family got down in the good old Rona. So we've been down with COVID for the past week. Everybody's feeling better, like the kids are alright, wifey is okay. And I'm like, I'm not 100% fully restored, but uh, I'm hopefully enough restored to get this episode out for you guys. And it might be a little bit shorter, it might be slower. But hopefully the episode will be out. And one thing which I want to do in today's episode is maybe dive into the whole public transportation business because there's plenty to be had and there's plenty improvements to be made in the city. Look at the, all those lemmings. But this is awesome. I love it so much. So what else do we have? We have the trams, we have the subway, we have airport. We also have the international airport and the space center. Okay. Like, I want to unlock everything. I know that airport is going to be humongous. And there's even more humongous. I'm not sure about the size of this, but uh, this makes me happy. Like, seeing all those people using public transportation is absolutely amazing. However, previous episode, we did or started doing the harbor over here. And this is one of the two harbors which we we're going to have in the city. And so far... I'm, I'm liking it. And just before I got sick, I started doing some improvements to road layouts, even expanded this a little bit further this way. And will we keep it this way? I'm not sure. But for the moment being, I'm kind of liking it. The ships are coming in. This seems to be working. Like, look how beautiful this looks. There's a lot of containers in this bad boy. Oh, the smokes is all packed. Huh. Uh, yeah, so what did I do? Well, don't... Okay, this is something which is in subject of change. I hate this a little bit because it's super sharp. There's a little highway turn, which now goes... Instead of going like that way, it goes all the way over here. But this, by the way, I love this. Look how amazing... Okay, it's a little bit steep, but look how beautiful this looks. Like winding through the trees over here. And you're going to be seeing the harbor over here. Don't look at the dam. I wish they can, could fix that. It looks so bad. Maybe we can remove that. No, then we're going to drench the whole harbor, which is going to be devastating. But yeah, that's going to be going over here into the harbor. We're going to have like some type of, of off on ramps over here. And that is going to be continuing all the way here and maybe even connecting with this in the future. Also, I did take down the train tracks over here. So we have this train track going into this cargo harbor or terminal. This goes into another like train cargo terminal and it continues all the way to this cargo port. Once again, very sharp turns. It's not really realistic now, is it? But hey, it's only game. Why well, you have to be mad? And this over here, envision this bridge being one of those who can like uh, turns or slides on this little pivot. So it's gonna like turn like this way and back again and back again. Because you're going to be like, look around. Oh, ship's going to go in here. Well, they, they, once again, it's the only game. They nod. This is just for looks. This is just to make this area pretty. But if you would have like a cargo harbor over here, then, then I would totally understand your concerns. And now when I'm thinking about it, by the way, I did path this out just to get nice tiles all over the place for industry to be popped down in. But I'm thinking that... Can we use those for pedestrians? What does it say? Narrow two-lane road without sidewalks allows traffic in both directions. Okay, so I guess that works. But now let me see here, because we did put down a few of them over here in the oil fields. Um, I don't, I don't see anybody using this. Maybe it doesn't work that way, and I have zoned out everything over there. It doesn't matter. It simply doesn't matter. I guess, yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's maybe start over here in this area, though. Because I want to have this zoned out as much as possible with, uh, I guess we're going to have industry. Maybe some offices would kind of look cool because some companies, they do have office buildings in like the, you know, the industrial zones. Might be a thing. Also, we need to get some train uh, lines going over here. But first is first. Let's just zone this out. And how much? 
this is gonna cause so much traffic and this is not even connected over here yet so we'll see but let's maybe do oh i don't want to i don't want to waste that beautiful forest over here but do it girl let's do it for, for science well i don't want to do it for science we'll see how much we can do because the demand is through the roof when it comes to office uh, i mean uh, industrial buildings or zones it's still fairly high over here and people still moving in oh by the way i got a mod in between episodes and don't, don't hate me but i did get a mod uh, which i'm not sure i can show you guys how it works but hopefully i can if i put down a few trees over here like that and let's speed up the game a little bit those guys they should grow much faster sometimes they do sometimes they don't but it should be pretty much visible the the, the growth on them because that is something I would I, I was a little bit hating that they had to wait for such a long time before the trees oop see pop it's like popcorn in the microwave just popping up all over the place so yeah now I was really not liking like you have to do wait um, when you play this game like like by yourself like waiting for the growage of the trees is perfect but having this as a content creator and like not seeing any progress so when it comes to the tree growth in like 10 episodes yeah it's a little bit tedious so now i have that and hopefully that that's okay with you guys all right um where else do we zone out over here let's get those in okay the man is going up a little bit it's fluctuating but it's not, now it's going up again so let's get those guys mainly i just want to see how this looks because i i think this might look really cool when this is fully zoned out and there's like tons of industry all over the place we also need to get some maybe even a subway uh, getting a subway in here somewhere about we need to get some services like yeah, like fire departments maybe a little clinic a police department over here somewhere about and over here by the way there was a little tiny ore deposit so i was like yeah i'm just gonna squeeze them in and see how that looks i'm not sure that looks that great but, but for the moment, it's here to stay. I'm not moving that. We might eventually, when we're gonna like squeeze in something else in that in that region. Oh, this looks cool. So what I had envisioned is like coming down over here, coming down the highway, and then just seeing all the beautiful buildings in harbor. Not sure how industry buildings can be beautiful, but, but you get my point, right? You just wait and see. I think this is gonna look really nice, especially having the forest in front, so we can just peek a little bit of the harbor in the distance. And one thing which I'm having a hard time with is working with different heights on maps. Like, I'm not good at it. My ideal map would pretty much be... <gasps> okay, we're gonna fix that very soon. But my ideal map would be pretty much flatten everything out to one elevation and start building. But this over here definitely makes for some quite interesting scenery and solutions. Bend your roads, trying to connect everything nicely. But what is happening over here? What girls do not have water? You will see that. Not enough water? Are we really that low on water? Well, it's on the verge. And the question is, will a water tower suffice for the moment? I think it should, but would it? Because the thing is, I need to get into like the, the water treatment and everything. Because otherwise everybody's going to be drinking brown chocolate milk and... And yeah, that's not great for our healthcare. Will this fix it? Oh yes, it did indeed. Perfect. This might be... This might be... It's a helipopper. This might be such a bad idea but i just want to see this maybe it's gonna look super amazing just having just a few of those buildings if we don't like it we can always always remove them okay so don't be like that let's get rid of this let's get rid of that can we squeeze in something over here in this, those tiles over here i guess we can just do this and get the industry building boom okay that's gonna be a big boy I did not really anticipate it being so so tall. But then again, it might be a thing. Maybe just one more here. See, this is like I'm already. Like I know I just had COVID, but I'm all over the place. One here. I kind of want to have a little bit bigger than that. No, that's too big. There we go. Maybe like that. They will be hating the pollution. But the question is, is that going to be my problem or their problem? I really want to see those buildings though. And also, one thing which we had over here was, okay, we're going to get into rock because they keep complaining. Episode in and episode one. And you guys been like, Kiralis, get a stone quarry. But, 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 no, but, 
Yes, yes, but, but we have this oil over here and we need to make use of it. Um, how are we on the, on the whole production of, of oil? We are in a surplus by 71 tons per month. Rocks? Where's the rocks at? Is that the rocks? Yeah. Deficit of 92 tons. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna tend to that. So we need oil we don't need, but we're gonna be exporting the surplus and then we just need a bunch of rock. And by the way, how are we doing on, on income? 3.6 million. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of money, which we can just, just be playing around with. How are we going to be following this? Should we just be following the, the landscape over here? I love doing episodes like this. Like, I'm just sitting here talking a little bit, building a little bit, and, and doing stuff. And I know you guys seem to like them as well. Like, don't, don't, don't be lying to me, okay? You, you, you maybe like them a little bit, so, so, so let's do them. From time to time, like, I'd rather maybe have more episodes going out per week. And then being, then being a little bit more chill. Than having less episodes with tons of projects inside of them. What you guys think about that? Because the thing is, like, when you sit and watch a live stream, what is that? Is that the road already? Oh my goodness, we are at the road. The highway. Could that work, by the way? I mean, technically could, right? Yeah, and then you can going down the highway over here, and you're like, oh, there's a little gap in the forest, and we can see the harbor. <laughs> see, this is what my brain is like. Why? Why? I don't know. That's just how I think. It would be nice looking, all right? I mean, just take that into consideration. Do we? No, we don't, but we will. Can I go further up, though? Maybe just a titty bit? I guess if we, if we stop snapping about, we could, right? Just drag it to about here. Snap it, and how are we? It doesn't have to be straight and pretty, though, but... If it is, I'm not going to be complaining. Okay. And then the rest is going to be filled up with forest and everything's going to be perfect. Yeah, but, but, but I was thinking like, if you guys sit and watch a live stream, sometimes I'm sitting and watching live streams and I can, I can watch for hours upon hours upon hours and there's literally nothing happening in the live stream pretty much. It's just, well, it's, stuff is happening, but it's always like a little bit of slow progress and such. And I don't, I don't mind that. I'm 78 tons. <gasps> I just clicked away. What was that? A vehicle factory. I be darned. Bam! It's huge! Okay, it's not gonna be here. This is just for showcase purposes. But it, it's, it's ginormous. And detailed. I like it. Can we do anything with it besides this being huge? It does have the 2% industrial efficiency citywide and 10% oil deposits citywide. It's amazing, okay? Definitely something I'm gonna be building somewhere about. What does it say? Benzel. Bentley. It's a Bentley factory. Okay, so I'm, I'm not gonna have it here. I'm gonna just remove this. Any sad faces? Nah, everybody's fine. But the vehicle factory. That's something we're gonna add very, very, very soon. But yeah, I was saying, like, in live streams, like, I can literally sit for hours and hours and hours watch live stream, and not much progress is happening. But there's always something happening, right? Just, just chilling about. Maybe even playing the game yourself and listening to something in the background. That's what I do sometimes. You know, I kind of want to have it nicely here, but uh, it's not going to be nicely there, girls. I'm not going to be nicely here, but I want to take, make advantage or take advantage of all that oil over here. So that goes to here. That is one of my favorite features. I'm not sure it existed in any City Skylines 1 a DLC or whatever, but I really like it. It's so nice being able to like follow the train tracks or roads or whatever and make a really nice shape of it. See, this is what I mean. You come driving down the highway and then bam, there's a gap in the forest and the whole harbor is just revealed in front of you. Oh, it's, it's, it's beautiful. I'm not a big fan of this over here. And I'm not sure I can do anything to prevent this from happening. Unless I flatten out the land and such. But do even do that? Uh, can I do that? Like, can I smoothen this terrain? No, I guess once there's a building place, there's nothing you can do about it. You can't delete them because then deletes the whole thingy majiggy and that is nothing I want to do. <laughs> you okay there, buddy? Yeah, you're doing great. <laughs> oh, okay, it will kill me on the inside. But but I mean there there's just nothing I can do. May well maybe actually. Let me see here. If I would take this tool, get that up to like 45, can I? No can do. <sighs> 
There's a building placed and you can't touch it. Ding, 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 ding. Can't touch this. And look how cool those look, by the way. Uh, the skyscrapers? Well, maybe not skyscrapers, but semi skyscrapers. I think that looks really cool. Maybe that is a bit too big, but that could be a, the oil company's building, right? And they're just like in the middle of the harbor. They should actually be in the middle of the city, I guess. But then again, nah, that will be fine. Okay, so once this is building up and leveling up, I like this as well. Not sure, can, can we have anything? Or is that just zoned out like that? I guess, I guess trees and bushes and such could be placed over here. Maybe even making a road to have something up here. But then again, I think I think just some trees and bushes will, will do it for us. And having stuff over here. But one thing I want to unlock. Okay, let's do that. Let's see how this looks. So we got the trams. I'm going to unlock the subway. Not, not sure if we're going to be doing anything of this in today's episode, but we will see. Airport. Yes. International. You got only 29 points, girls. I don't care. Space center. Okay, maybe that was a bad move. But now we've unlocked everything. But Kiralas, think about the people. They need healthcare. Hey, it is my city. What else would we need? Like besides maybe getting some universities like the Technical University and the Medical University, there's not much I want to have. Well, City Hall, Kiralas, that would be a thing. <laughs> it would actually be a thing. City Hall would be a thing in a prison. But now we have that, that unlocked, okay? Because... Maybe a water treatment plant. I'm gonna unlock this. I'm not saying I'm gonna place it. But but we will unlock it at least once we get the points. And I'm also gonna unlock the city hall, okay? Because that's gonna be important maybe for the next episode. So let's do that. I wanna see. I wanna see the size of those bad boys. So let's start with airports. So that is the small... Small one. Like this... Hmm, could you even squeeze that into the city? Like, it could be a thing, okay? Does it have... How can that not cause any noise pollution? Like, it's it's huge, but it's not like... It's not like super oversized. Well, maybe the runway is. Nah, it's not. Let me see, if I take this... Yeah, look at that. Okay, so they do need, need, need a clear space from skyscrapers and high buildings, I guess. But that could be a thing. They can take the train tracks underground, having that just in the city center, having lots of... I, well, it, we will see, okay? The international airport will be... <laughs> lagging all over the place. Okay, this one though. This one is a little bit bigger. Okay, this will be a headache, because I'm not sure that this will even be a thing for this map size. Like, where would one put this on this map? Like, it's as big as the whole industrial district, pretty much. Or the downtown. Maybe on top of a mountain somehow. Could be a thing. And how about the Chirperx Space Center? That is tiny. What does it do, by the way? The plus 10 demand on a f for electronics. Plus 10 demand for software. Interest of in university education and attractiveness. So this is kind of great all over. How expensive is this? 4.8 million. Back in the day, I would be concerned because that is a lot of cash. Now, yeah, not, 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 not so much. So we can even put that down just to kind of see how that looks and all. Okay, we got that. Then we have the subway. So subway yard would be required. 200k. I love my trains. I love my trains, even the subway trains. Let me just see how this looks. It's not going to be here, okay? This even looks better than the, that whole train yard. So that is the subway one. <laughs> now I kind of want to move this, but at the same time I want to keep it here. So maybe if we put that, we could put it here maybe? And it's still connected. Because I believe, do they use the same train tracks? Let's uh, see. Do they use the same train tracks? Kind of looks like, well, maybe not. Okay, so that is that. I, well, well, obviously they won't be doing that because they do have the, the yellow part in the middle. And the normal ones don't. How about, can we connect them? Okay, this is just for testing purposes. I'm terribly sorry. Terribly sorry. Uh, excuse moi. I've just had COVID and my head is all over the place. I'm not saying my head is usually here because it's not. But today is more 
away than, than, than it normally is, okay? So yeah, you, no, you can't. You have to have those those ones. The subway tracks. Not terrible. Underground subway station. You have an overground to this? Hold up. Ho 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 hold up. Wh who am I overlapping? Okay, a road. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. But can this be... Can I can I bring that up somehow? Let's say I would have uh, testing purposes, ladies and gentlemen. Let's ha say I have that like ten meters up in the sky, right? Can I then place that elevated? Please, please be a thing. I don't think it is a thing. I mean, the underground is is cool and all because that that is just pretty much just poop it down and you have this little tiny thing, which is going to be great for us, especially like saving space in the city. But wouldn't that be called having elevated somehow? Yeah, I guess with all the bits and bobs outside, I don't think that would be a possible thing. Station services, that's pretty much more shoppies and such. Okay. I do like the design. I just wish it was a little bit elevated, like, you know, those like New York ones or Chicago. But this is, by the way, what the upgrades does this have? Maintenance hall. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then uh, extra tracks. So that is just a little tram building. Which is not the super oversized. And the only time I've played around with trams in these Skylands was when the like the, the winter DLC came out. Ha <laughs> ha! Sorry. Just being awkward. Just checking this out, how this operates and such. So that goes out to here, and then I guess... And then what? It's better than yours. Can I upgrade? Okay, so I would upgrade this with that. No. How does one... How does one do the tracks? Thank you, Alice. Maybe take those and upgrade. Uh-huh. So that would be like this. This might actually be better than having buses all the way to the city. Now as thinking of it, is there any road type where we can squeeze that in, in the middle? Maybe the four lane divided? No, I don't think that would be possible. Or, well, let me just see. How does that look? Sorry, testing. I should be doing this off camera, I guess. But hey, here I am. Here I am. I mean... Yeah, I want to have trams, and I want to have them over here, going all the way down to the harbor region. I love trams. Like, last time I saw them was, like, where? In Bratislava? No, Gothenburg, that's it, in Sweden. Let me see, that goes all the way through here, and then, oh... Don't do it, girls! Yeah, this is gonna be a bad mistake, because the thing is, we can't... I don't think we can upgrade those road types, because that is a highway, right? So that is not possible. So that is not, nothing we can do. However, we could maybe change that to this road type. Upgrade... Ugh. You idiot. Technically, I'm not. I might be, but I'm not. Because... because Okay, we yeah, I am a little bit, because <laughs> we need to remove those. Because the thing is that... All the buses in the industrial district, they still go through the, through this, right? And if we can maybe just have a bigger tram system going through this, that would benefit everybody. And let me just see here. If I would upgrade this now, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That just takes one of the lanes, right? And then it goes through over here. Okay, okay. Uh, possibilities. So that goes... But then again, this doesn't go to nowhere. This just goes out of here. So it would be this road over here, right? So that goes all the way from this. But then again, I want to incorporate the train station, which would be over here. So that would be going out somewhere like that. Could you drop it down over here? Go all the way down here. All the way through here. Loop it back around and in and up and in and out up here and go back this way and loop it back on <laughs> ideas 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 okay so i want i, I want to have it i want to have it and the question is can i always can i squeeze that into next to the train station but Kirals, will you be using those train tracks in the future or oh, might might do might definitely do oh okay before i forget before i forget 
I had that in mind as well. See, I am all over the place. We need to upgrade this. The park maintenance depot with more extra garages. I don't think, hands down, that this will help us by any means. Because you guys told me, like, add more maintenance vehicles. But as you can see, there's hardly no in use. And in the city, we have dead people. I see dead people. We'll still have this situation. Which is, they just keep popping up. Last episode, they were gone. Now they are back in. Maybe what we need is actually having them closer to, to the whole city. Um, but yeah, and also this, the little like road maintenance. Let's expand that with, what was that? How many extra vehicles? Five extra maintenance vehicles. That's a huge garage for just five vehicles, I gotta say. But that's gonna be great for us. Because now all ten were out and being used so so yeah we get we get plenty of roads but let's see here so back to this now that those guys are upgraded girls but how about the taxes you see i can't do everything i'm just one man i'm not a machine i do have feelings okay like this uh-huh testing purposes okay that's gonna be like tweaked and such but can this be pooped in no too big too big oh my God. Oh, it's so close but yet so far away i thought this would be a great spot for it Maybe if we Libe libe doubt you can Lee Libe libe doubt you I could I could make this smaller because we are producing oil like there was no tomorrow, right? How much is a surplus? But but you, you might need that in the future. We have more oil deposits. We have a surplus of oil. So if I would make this smaller, nobody would care. But but they might. Well they might. So that is not my problem, okay? Now see, there's not plenty of oil here in the far distance, and we're still going to make quite a bit of it. So let's say I would do this. That will be going through the train station, stopping here somewhere about, picking up those people and driving or taking them. Does a tram drive? Doesn't matter. But taking them all the way to the industrial district, that is the plan. Where is the tram? Here. Oh, yes, baby. Look, look at me being all precise. That is perfect. Should we? Of course. So it will go down on a less trafficated road. Not that that is me used very much. But it will be eventually because we're going to be building out this whole sector. I don't think we'll lose that much oil. Well, maybe a teeny bit. But it's not like... There we go. Perfect. And Oh, how about upgrades, Kralis? Well, that's, that's in-house upgrade. That's an in-house upgrade. And I think we're going to have like two of them. We're going to have one in the city as well. So the city is not going to technically be connected with, with trams from here, but the trains will, like the normal trains. Let me lay this out. I have not been this excited since my, my kids were born. This will be going all the way through here. And yes, through the roundabout, believe in this project. For the moment, it's being a thing, okay? We can always revert it back. We can always remove them. So, so like, no harm is being done. And then it goes down all the way here. And as, as, as I said before, this is also in the subject of change. The whole, like, harbor region. But for me, it's more like testing. Not the boundaries, I would say. But just testing stuff. So that it has. So we can go all the way throughout here. Trust me, they're going to be so happy. So many people are going to be using this that it's just crazy insane. Stops over here. This over here. You know what? Once we're at it over here. <laughs> I just feel I'm really all over the place. <sighs> I'm going to zone this out. Because we have space for zoning and the demand on this is skyrocketing. As on everything in the city. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we don't technically need anything going down over here because there's going to just be forest and such, so let's not. But we will maybe stop just here. Just outside the cargo harbor. Like for the future, we could have a stop here, but I don't think that's necessary. Okay, we will give it as a go. And ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this, please keep in mind that any suggestions on this are more than welcome. Because this is the first time I'm really using the tram system in... City Skylines 2. We'll see what this does. It might be terrible. It might clog up the streets even further. But I simply don't care because I I like the trams. Do we go all the way? Can I put a waypoint like this? So where does that go if I take it 
Okay, by default goes all the way around. That's perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a fail or break scenario. But a tram will be pooped out from this majestic building somewhere about. Still kind of like those. Just wish there was more stuff. It just feels so barren. Look at it. Do they have trams in the US, by the way? Maybe they don't. Maybe they do. They sure do. They do have them in airports and such, right? There's gonna be like some some type of tram system. Okay, so come, 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 come. Choo -choo. That's pretty much okay. Every oh wow, there's a lot of those guys. We need to space them out a little bit. Is anybody gonna be using it as own first on the maiden voyage? Nobody's using it as on the maiden voyage. What is that sound? Is that the radio mass doing sounds? I think it is. Okay, that... that, that mm, I'm not sure I'm a big fan of that. Like, I mean, the maiden voyage and nobody's using this. Is nobody want to go? I think, I think like, this the whole simulation bit will take a while until it's fully, like, adjusted. But the thing about those guys, for example, they have room for 240 people. And we could have separate tracks, so... These people, or just these people, those guys, they don't even have to interfere with the whole city traffic. They can be having like their own like sky uh, track somewhere about, with stations uh, and such. But I'm a little bit worried that nobody's using this. So far... So far, nobody. Oh, no, no, no. there's one person on the maiden voyage. And I'm not sure we just kidnapped that, kidnap that guy. More people coming in. Oh, this is gonna be great. Okay. I'm kinda in love with, with this whole thing. The more public transport we have, the better it will get. I don't wanna be a guy, but look at all those people. I think we're onto something like slowly, we will find the right balance. But it's just so awesome. Like, even if there was just would be one person waiting, I don't mind. Because seeing these roaming the, the streets, that's just beautiful. That was kind of cool. Like, I love, like, how that changed to do not walk and that person started running. I did this, I've never seen that before. I mean, just look at the amount of people using the public transportation system. And the thing is that, yeah, we don't really have much of it. We have two bus lines over here, and we also have the new, newly created tram line. Which goes all the way to the harbor region, the buses don't. So maybe getting a bus thing down here as well. I'm not sure what, what would you guys suggest. And th this, I've been watching this, and, and yeah, it looks bad now. Nobody's using this for some reason. Everybody's going this way. But I've been watching like time-wise. It's pretty much like work time, everybody comes over here and clocks this up. And I mean, what is the logic behind this over here? I know you might be going straight, but there's... Hmm, left, left turns are blocked over here. So you better be going straight. Oh, you... Where's the popo when you need them? Can I prevent that somehow? Look at those guys! Okay, I... Mm. How do we... How do we prevent this from happening? This is terrible. So I guess allowing them a, a left turn? Would that solve any issues? Well, no, really. I mean, no, you can't... You can't be doing this... You can't be just doing U-turn and blocking all the morning traffic. How about traffic solving with Kralis? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna help now, is it? Or maybe it will. I don't think it will, because then they we could be going over here. And maybe I can do no left here. That would be merging. However, oh, no, everybody's doing what they want. Let's see, do they still do the U-turn over here? Of course they do. Why wouldn't they? So far, no one has done a U-turn 
in a few minutes. The problem is that it is it is 17.35, which means it's time to go home from work. So now the cloggage will be that out of the way. But dude, like I mean, hmm, should I should I be worried about this? I don't think so. It's, it's like normal in real life, right? You go to work, it might be a little bit of congestions on the streets, a little bit of, of traffic jams here and there. You go back home from work, it's the same thing. Nah, this is just pretty much the circle of life. If they only knew that there's a road just over here, which leads to the roundabout and onto the highway and then all the way home. But those idiots are like, no, 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 no. This is the way for me. That's the way I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So I guess it is what it is. One more thing I want to do. And that is to get the rock business set up. Oh, no. The roof, the roof. The roof is on fire. But I think I'm just going to be using this space over here or this space over here. Maybe not this because I want to have some greenery, but this... Because as I said before, I don't I don't think this requires any special place for it. Set up anywhere to produce stone. I mean, it might not be an ideal place for a quarry, but it will be my place for a quarry. Can I see what I'm doing over here? There we go. So that is situated over here. It would be going down here. Oh, this is going to be terrible, Kiralis. No, it's not. This will be beautiful. And then... They will get the stone they, they deserve and then no moaning. We don't have to import it. We can maybe even export the surplus of all the stone we will be producing in the beautiful city of Kiralesville. And I know you've been at it for, for, for quite a few episodes with me and I'm like, I'm not in a rush. Like, it will take the time it's, it takes. Eventually they will get some stone production in. Somebody said that these over here, if you make them big enough, they will have the badger. Oh my goodness, what is this? Look at this little skyscraper. Jeez. That is ginormous. But yeah, look at that. It's kind of like... It's a little bit bland. Because there's nothing in them. As of now, at least. Let me see. Can I just tweak this a teeny bit? Or maybe that's kind of like an illusion. Yeah. Can't really do much about it. Should we do one more over here? How's the production on the stone? It... Just got set up, Kiralis. <laughs> Look at that. We're already producing 108 tons. So we're in the surplus. So we're actually exporting the stone. Which is great. By the way, is my city still alive over there? <laughs> Hide it away. No, it is. It is. It is. We're going to get there. We're going to check it out. Can I just do it? Okay. <gasps> New your building. Ground earth. Crushing large rocks into smaller rocks like never before. Okay, I'm going to check that out. So what have we got? We got the vehicle factory today and we also got the this, which means we need to place them. And what I'm thinking I will do, I think I might, maybe I'm just going to do more episodes, but having them being like less projecty, if you know, know what I mean. What do you guys think about that? And this over here is ground earth. Like, I was expecting a huge building, it is not. And it also gives us 2% industrial efficiency citywide and 10% ore deposit citywide. It's not going to be here. But I kind of want to check it out. And how about this? Okay, so those are producing. How much are we producing? Like cash, right? Look at 4.3 million in the surplus. We can waste so much cash. We're in the surplus by 157 tons per month. I also did add a little, like, what you could call it. What's happened over here? It's a traffic accident. Even the, even, even the helicopter is here roaming about. Or hoovering, I guess you say. Uh, I also added a police station, which, which, luckily enough, was very close to this accident. But I am not sure anything is happening at this stage. Hmm... Well, at least the Popo is here. We also have the, the firehouse, which is situated over here. And the clinic. But, uh, oh, no. <gasps> d d d oh, no. It's not looking very promising. Rest in pieces. He's sleeping with the fishes now. So that has been added. That has been added. I've also added a few commercial buildings over here in the industrial district. Upon request from you guys, I'm not sure this will be like a profitable model having them here. But if it is and they don't complain, we can just keep them here and there. Not sure about those though. This, this, the skyscraper offices. 
But it does break off the skyline quite nicely, so I kind of want to keep them. See, see what it does. If they complain, we will remove them and tweak them. But it's coming along. And I'm like, I'm super happy. A little bit of traffic build up, but nothing's too serious. The harbor is working as intended. It's going to get a little bit bigger. Maybe not too big, because I do want to have a bigger harbor on the other side of the map. And just maybe a little bit over here. Maybe some stuff over here. At least it's working. One more thing I'm thinking about. Like, let's say I would add one of those, like, train cargo terminals in the city. Let's say it would be situated maybe somewhere over here. And then connected with a, with a cargo train line from the, the cargo harbor. Does that mean they would bring goods by train to this train cargo terminal? And then trucks would pick up stuff which is needed within the city in this one. I'm not sure that is how it works exactly. But that would save so much traffic going in and out from the industry area, right? And what does that? Does that just have noise pollution or what's the deal with that? That is just medium noise pollution. And it's, it's super tiny. So that could be a thing. That's not the thing, Keralis. There, there it is. It's, <laughs> there it is. Okay, it's a little bit bigger. It would be needed to be from that side because of the train tracks. But that would be a thing. If we could save some traffic going into picking up, picking up like, uh, like groceries or whatever, in the industrial zone, that would save us so much time. Because I think, let me just see here. What do we have inside of this? Who's collecting garbage over here? Are we exporting that? <laughs> are we importing that? I am just clueless. But yeah, let, let's say textiles, food, for example, that is sold within, within the city. So if we can bring those goods from here to the city by train instead. But I'm not sure that, that, that's how it works. We can see that, that in the next episode. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm still not feeling like 100% from the COVID. So I will just call this quiz for today's episode. It's been a crime scene in the skate park. Who? Why? No! Oh no, they're here as well. Y yeah, we might need more part maintenance all over the place. Oh, by the way, how's the situation in the in the big train station over here? Is there a lot of people? I see a lot of people. Do I see dead people? Mm, <laughs> no, but it's getting to the framey point. What are those guys doing? They're pretty much just standing. Like, I'm, I'm having like two frames per second over here. And that's not even the taxi stance, right? Or maybe they're just waiting in line to move. There's so much people. Just look at this. Okay, prepare for a slideshow. Oh my, oh my. Okay, if we can hide them in, in, in a subway in the next episode, I might be grateful. My computer can't handle more than this. Well, it can, but not, not in a close-up scenario or situation. We will be back in a day or two with more City Skylines. And hopefully I'm healthy, but we, we're going to attend tons of problems. Maybe even set up a little farming district up here. There's a the harvest semi-done. Not done-done, but semi-done. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I'm Kiralis. I will see you in a day or two. Hit the like button, leave some feedback, and sorry for a derpy episode. But have a fantastic day, wherever you are.